It is the first quarter of the first moon of the winter season, and I am still working my way south in India, sort of. Not really working. I am practicing. Uh, I just don't know that I'm going to have that much time here to really get a job. My visa is only good until January the 8th. I honestly hadn't expected to stay in India even till the end of that. But I am now. I'm more exploring at this point, picking up experience as I go. I was just in Banalam, which is in Goa, with Nadine, and we practiced pretty much every afternoon um, around 4 o'clock. I would wake up in the mornings and I would do my pranayama, my meditation, my vinyasa, and then in the afternoons we would do acro. Um, but I've left there now and gone a little further south to Gokarna. But we also made a little bit of time for sightseeing. Uh, one day we rented a scooter and drove out to Dude Cigar. We made it to uh, the town closest to the Dude Cigar waterfall, but there are no passable roads. Not by scooter anyway. So the track. So now we're walking around town looking for the train tracks. So, because we're just gonna hike in instead of paying someone to shuttle us in. Which we may decide is a bad idea later, especially since this bag is heavy. But we're going for it. The option we settled on was hiking 12K down railroad tracks. Some real stand by me stuff going on here. Gonna travel down the tracks to see a dead body. Nah, I'm just kidding. But that, <laughs> that was pretty right on time though, wasn't it? I mean, holy crap. <laughs> We're gonna travel down the tracks to see a waterfall. <laughs> and hopefully not get run over in the process. Which was a great adventure. It's kind of a pain in the ass to walk on railroad tracks. You know, like it's uneven and it's just gravel and so we wound up walking on the tracks almost the whole way. And we got very good at balancing on railroad tracks. It becomes meditative at some point to where you are very focused. It was fun based on that. But by the time we got to the end, what we found was that the track that we thought we were hiking you know, if you see pictures of the waterfall, there is a railroad track that cuts, that literally has a bridge over the waterfall. And so we imagine that that's the track we're on, but it wasn't. And so when we get there, you can just look across this jungle valley to see the waterfall on the other side. Pretty much inaccessible for us, but I did have the drone. So I flew over there to check it out, and it was a beautiful waterfall. But what I gained from the adventure was tremendous. So we could see it, but we can't play in it. And now we have 12 kilometers to hike back. <laughs> Sometimes you lose. And that we weren't excited about, but we trudged along and- Three or four K down the tracks. We run into a whole bunch of people lurking around a stationary train and a couple of the guys flag us down and tell us that this train is about to head exactly where we're going that all we needed to do was walk back to the back of it and get on yay after you madame <laughs> and we got on the train and hitchhiked all the way back into town. 
And so the, the experience kind of mounted. You know, I'd never done that before. And honestly, train hopping is something I've always wanted to do. Now, you know, we didn't go very far. It was 12K, but it was exciting. And it was cool the way things work out. Once we got back to town, no. there was like a parade of elephants. And I've seen elephants kind of outside the zoo in Thailand and other places, but Nadine hadn't. So it was very exciting for her and pretty exciting for me as well. Then the scooter ride back wasn't bad. And a few days later, we part ways. Bye. Bye. Train station, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <sighs> and I'm on my own once again. She went north and I came to Gokarna here south. Hi. These are my new friends that I met off the train. Where are you guys from? Israel. All of them. Israel and Arkansas. Hello, my name is Daniel. I come from Kibbutz Rivadim. My favorite color is blue. If I will be a food product, I will be a watermelon. He's the most serious of the bunch. <laughs> and when we got here, there was nothing. I am trekking up dirt roads in the middle of the night through the jungle to a little room with no bed no electricity <laughs> no nothing it's literally just walls okay yeah thank you two, two day no problem okay. yeah two day no problem but it's the only place that i could find at own beach and i found that fortuitously that's okay i'll fix it okay do you have a lock? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so I hiked up into the jungle and <laughs> stubbed my toe a little bit trying to find my way, but I made it up here and I drugged that damn bag as well. And then I sorted all my stuff and figured out what things I can get rid of. And I put them all in the bag and Christmas happened while I was here. It's the first Christmas I've ever been alone. And I enjoyed it. I really, this is what I asked for, you know, to, to some time to myself, to, to get to know me, to really get to love me. And I do. I'm liking myself more and more every day, and I'm more and more comfortable with whatever comes. Obviously, I mean, I'm sleeping in a shack in the jungle. Uh, th then, while walking back to kind of deliver the the presents for Christmas. So did you guys find stuff that out of the bag? Merry Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Thank oh. you. Yeah, you're welcome. I got another, I got a present of my own. I've always wanted to see a cobra in the wild. But I was, as I was walking, you know, through the little path, something moved in the bushes, like literally right by my foot. And I looked down and it was a freaking cobra. And it's, it just, it didn't do anything. It just kind of, and it could have bit the shit out of me. I mean, it was literally right next to me. And so it starts to like move off into the jungle and I, I was a little scared to go after it. You know, I didn't want to get bit by a cobra. I, I don't know how they behave, you know, honestly. But in the end, I decided to follow the snake into the, into the woods. And I didn't get too close, and the shots aren't very good. But I did get close enough to, at one point, it kind of hissed up, and you could see the hood, and you could see the, the little emblem on the back of the hood. It was very exciting. And so that was my present. I like it here. It's a really beautiful beach. It's very peaceful. I think I'm going to stay here till the New Year's. And possibly try and get at least one workshop someplace, even if I have to do it on the beach. Um, I have about a week. I think that's enough time for me to promote the workshop and hopefully get a couple of people together to take my learning to fly workshop. But for now, I'm going to go catch sunset at the beach, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!